Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. It's a little bit rainy outside and cold in here this morning, so I thought nothing like a bit of Final Fantasy VII Remake news to warm the old cockles. Well, that and a cup of tea anyway. So we've all been talking about Intergrade lately. Of course, that's coming out next month, which is the PS5 version of Part 1 of FF7 Art with a new episode included. But a lot of us are wondering what's happening with Part 2, the next main game in the project. Well... On the recent live stream that Square did, the uh, first Soldier live stream, Nomura actually comments on part two. And by the way, this comes courtesy, translated by Audrey. So I'll leave a link to her Twitter feed in the comments below. But it seems that Nomura actually wanted to talk about the development of part two on the live stream, but wasn't able to do so. Oh, and if you don't know, Tetsuya Nomura is the director, or one of the di co-directors on Final Fantasy VII Remake. So let's just read what it is that he said here. I see comments of people asking questions like, what's going on with part two? I knew this would be asked, so this morning, before 9am actually, I called Kitazi and asked him, hey, can I at least talk a bit about FF7R part two? Before I knew it, this turned out to be a huge mess. So this was just before the first Soldier live stream. We had to get confirmation, Owen oh, Kitazi is the producer. We had to get confirmation from so many different departments, and I literally wasn't even going to say much info to begin with. I just wanted to say something along the lines of, we're doing our best to develop this game. Hey dude, you just said that anyway. Instead, it ended up being way too complicated, so I was kind of stuck. After all that, as expected, I can't say much. There was just so many levels to go through to get approval that I myself was surprised. Like, there's uh, that many people would need to check in with. I thought we could just casually ask around. Yeah, I guess the corporate spiel behind these types of announcements and reveals are massive because Square understandably want to capitalize on their IP don't they so that they want to get a big event going when they're going to be making announcements and reveals which is why we haven't been hearing a lot about part two the good news is according to Nomura at least here that development is going well and by the way, don't be dismayed that we haven't heard anything. If you remember Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 was announced, I think it was like 2015 or something, and we never heard anything then for years. And Square themselves admitted they made a mistake in doing that. And then we sort of got another announcement for FF7 Remake in 2019, just a few months really before the game came out. And we'd heard nothing since 2015 up until that point when it was announced again. But when it was announced again, we got a whole ton of information very quickly and the game came out the following year. So that does seem to be Square's methodology. They keep everything hush-hush behind the scenes and then once they actually are ready to be close to re actually releasing the game, that's when they make their big announcements. So the fact that we haven't heard anything for part two, don't be dismayed thinking, oh, that means that it's not going well. It just means that Square aren't yet ready to reveal it. What can I say, this is Nomura again, is that the game's development is going smoothly. We will make announcements when the time is right, but for now, what I can reveal is Cloud will be running around a lot of nature. The atmosphere will be quite different from part one, so I think people will really enjoy it. In either case, development is going great. Please wait for more information. Right, okay, so it sounds like it's going to be a big juxtaposition here in terms of the atmosphere or the setting or the context of the remake part one that we've played already and part two. So part two, Cloud is going to be running around a lot of nature. Now that makes sense story-wise because Cloud and the party are leaving Midgar. They're heading out in the original game, they're heading out onto the world map. Now, of course, I don't think there's going to be a world map per se in the remake, but there's going to be a lot of green lush environments, which is, like I say, an interesting contrast to the first game, which was all very industrial because we're in the city of Midgar. Yeah, the big takeaway then is that development on part two is going well, which I think a lot of us wanted to hear. You know, I think Square are at the point now they've made mistakes in the past. They've made big mistakes. You know, development of Final Fantasy 15 versus and all of that charade. That was a mistake from Square. But I think with Final Fantasy VII Remake, they've reached a point now where they can systematically churn through development of their big projects without too much drama. You know, part one came out March last year. And since then, they've managed to develop this entire episode Yuffie over a few months. Now, I get it's only two chapters worth of story content, which is not as much as the content we got in the original game. But from what we've seen in the gameplay videos and trailers, it does look to be a very polished experience. And they've done that in a few months. 
I'm not saying that we can know there's no drama in development behind the scenes. I'm just saying that Square's silence on part two and not speaking about it for the last few months is no indication of that. But the fact that development is going well on part two is definitely quite exciting. And, you know, this whole touting of a new atmosphere being around nature and what have you is also very intriguing. Not particularly surprising for those of us that have played the original game, but just having Nomura talk about that very briefly definitely is making me just want to see a little bit more about part two anyway folks that's what i have for you today so what do you think about namura's comments here are you looking forward to final fantasy 7 remake part two are you hoping to play integrate in june if you can get your hands on a ps5 which is still a bit of a problem for many right now but folks i will be covering all final fantasy 7 remake news updates content on the channel so please do stay tuned for that and until next time take care